Let's get on to more positive yeah. notes. One thing that you and I have in common besides our fascination with Eastern Europe is backpacking. Yes. And you have, you know, here you are in Georgia. Ukraine doesn't have a ton of backpacking. It's the Carpathian Mountains, pretty much it. And I guess yeah. Crimea of it. And Crimea. Right. And the Carpathians, yeah. 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 So that's pretty much it. It's not a big thing. Slovakia. Slovakia is the Tatras. covered in, in mountains. Yeah. Right. The Carpathians. Tons, and right. Um, where would you suggest a backpacker to go? I would, my, from my little exposure, you've got mm-hmm. ton or not, I would yeah. say go to fucking Georgia. Absolutely. Yeah. Georgia is a great place for backpackers. But when we say backpackers, we're we're using the American uh, right. meaning of the word because in, in hikers, Europe, yeah. anyone with a backpack is, right. is called a backpacker. No, but America yeah. uses the same term. I went backpacking in Southeast Asia, and it, uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, okay. you hear that term maybe, a lot. maybe that's uh, moving over from yeah. from Europe. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but anyway, talking you're talking hiking, about like what trekking. wilderness backpacking. Wilderness, Georgia. Georgia's yeah. great for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, are there, have you done any long distance hikes in Georgia or are you mainly done like like a week long trips or less? So, because uh, I, I imagine you can cross like if you had the time and energy, you could do it like a whole month. Yeah, yeah there's enough trails. Th- there are. Uh, there are great week long hikes. There are great five day hikes. What Georgia is lacking, in my opinion, is like a, a good month long hike. Got it. And yes, there's the Transcaucasian Trail, which you've probably heard of, which is a wonderful idea. But as opposed to the U.S. or North America in general, when you get up high in the mountains, there are villages, there's cows, there's sheep. Right. Uh, it's not true wilderness, in the sense. That's right. right. Parts are, right. but they're like individual valleys. Right. And then you move over to or the mountain valleys. Yeah, there, there's a valley in Svaneti, for example, where there used to be people living, but it was like two generations ago. Okay. And so they're just Remnants. a few ruins yeah. covered over in like five meter ho- uh, high grass and, and right. brushes, brush. Um, so for the most part, they're inhabited or thinly inhabited valleys like the Alps, basically. That Trans-Caucasian Trail, Yes. how long is it? Do you know roughly? Uh, is it 800? Something like, no, I think it's 3,000 kilometers or something, 2,000. No, not yeah, that that's right. Long. Really? But it has, it has a couple different branches. Okay. So the so idea is there's one branch going through Armenia, Georgia, and it goes to the Armenian border, and then there's a, a section through Armenia that is completely mapped out, okay. finished, but some sections are covered in thorns and need a lot of work. Are Armenia, is Armenia got their yeah. shit together in ge- not just in hiking, but in general? Is, are they got their shit as a country? Are they economically better off and just kind of got their shit together? Or are they worse than Georgia mm-hmm. or about the same? I'm trying to understand yeah. like the Caucasus. You got yeah. these three countries, or Azerbaijan, like, yeah. where do they stand? Uh, so Armenia is, has always been doing slightly, it's been slightly behind Georgia. Okay. In terms of economic uh, development. Um, so it's kind of like... Liberalization, st- democracy, and so forth. But it's following the same general trajectory. Right. So I would say like maybe like Estonia is to Latvia. So Estonia has always been maybe one step ahead of Latvia. I feel like... Something like that. Yeah, yeah I think okay. that'd be appropriate. Mm-hmm. But then there's the third country, Azerbaijan, which seems to be on a completely different path. But as of this year... The Transcaucasian Trail has started uh, building their route through Azerbaijan. So you've got three countries, and they're building this network of trails that connect into what's called the Transcaucasian uh, Trail, or TCT. And there are people who have uh, hiked, for example, Armenia through start to finish. Or starting in western Georgia, they've walked all the way down to the border with Iran. Wow. Armenia's border with Iran. I know someone who did that. Yeah. And he said certain sections are just ugh. Why ugh? Um, just road walking? Because there's road walking or just terrible thorns or maybe oh. there's fog the whole time and tons of shepherd dogs and stuff like that. Got it. So I think it, it needs uh, a few more years to become a bit more well-trodden, better marked. The trail itself needs some work. But I think uh, we're looking at a really good trail after all is said and done.